Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. Okay guys, I am now approaching the 5 minute chart of the American dollar Swiss franc forex pair, also known as the Swissy, where I see that the price action is creating a breakout or it already did, it broke. It's a recent bullish trend in bearish direction. Yeah, but that's not all of it. The interesting thing is that the price action of the Swissy is forming a head and shoulders pattern, which I'm currently going to draw for you. Just that I'm choosing the right color to do it. Here it is. All right, first shoulder, the head is completed now, second shoulder, something like that, and here it is, second shoulder. Uh, the pattern is known to have strong bearish functions however in order to confirm the authenticity of the pattern we will first need to see the price breaking its neckline which is the line i'm currently building this is the line that connects the two bottoms in the base of the head this is the head this is the first bottom the second bottom so to confirm a head and shoulders trade, uh, a head and shoulders pattern that is valid, we will need to see a candle closing below that neckline over here. The head and shoulders pattern is a very frequent figure in terms of uh, when we're talking about breakouts in bullish trends. When the price breaks a bullish trend, it starts a consolidation. Then, as a result of the consolidation, the price can continue the previous trend or it can start a fresh new bearish trend so in our case the consolidation is represented by the head and shoulders pattern take a look at the hesitation something like this and this notice that instead of creating tops and bottoms higher tops and higher bottoms we suddenly see a lower top over here and attempt for a lower bottom which represents the price hesitation in this case. So since the pattern is known to have bearish, uh, bearish functions, I assume that the upcoming run would not be continuational, but it's going to be a reversal, meaning that the price will probably initiate a bearish move. But to confirm this, we will first need to see a breakout through the orange neckline of the pattern. Then, if the price breaks the neckline, I will short the Swissy, placing a stop loss order above the second shoulder, somewhere over here. And then I will try to trade a bearish price move equal to the vertical size of the pattern, which is the distance between the tip of the head, over here, and the neckline. Here it is. Then let's say the pattern will break some somewhere over here. This means I'm gonna going to apply that distance over here like this, and I will stay into the trade until the price reaches something like 1.0087. But first, to do this, I will need to see again. I repeat the price breaking the orange neckline. Of the pattern for this reason i'm now pausing the video and i'll come back to you uh, when i see the breakout through the neckline okay guys i'm back to show you the breakout through the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern over here uh, see that the candle closed uh, below then the price retraced and now i'm going to i'm going to sell half lot of the Swissy. Placing a stop loss order above the second shoulder, 
which I'm adjusting now. Here it is. And at the same time, I'm going to place a take profit order at the bottom of the rectangle I use to determine my target. This is somewhere like 1.0087. Yes. All right, the trade is ready to go. Now let's mark some levels on the chart, as I usually do. Uh, I entered at 1.0094. My stop loss order stays at 1.0103 approximately. And I place my target, my take profit order, at a distance equal to the vertical size of the head and shoulders pattern, measured from the top of the head to the neckline. I did this with the gray rectangle you see on the chart. Then I applied the rectangle starting from the moment of the breakout, and I determined that my target stays at 1.0087. So now I'm going to pause the video again. Now come back to you to show you how this head and shoulders platter trait is developing. Okay guys, I'm back about 30 minutes later to show you that uh, the price action has reached the full target of my head and shoulders pattern. The target at 1.0087. It even went slightly below, but I mean, what I was aiming for was the potential of the pattern, nothing more and nothing less, meaning that I totally accomplished that target, which is a good thing in this trade, because it took relatively short period of time. Uh, it took like, yeah, like 30 minutes, nothing, nothing more, you know. So now I'm going to calculate the results from this trade for you. I entered at 1.0094 and I closed my trade at 1.0087, which is a 7 pips profit. 7 pips is 0 0.0007 from the exchange rate of the American dollar Swiss franc forex pair. And when I, uh, when I divide this number by my entry price at 1.0094 I get a result of 0 0.00063483481 and by multiplying this number by 100 I get the percentage profit from this trade which is approximately 0.07% profit from this trade approximately this is what uh, 7 pips cost in terms of profit. The important thing I repeat is that the target is accomplished. I remind that I measure my target with this rectangle over here. My target is the vertical distance between the top of the head and shoulders pattern, the tip of the head, and the orange neckline that connects the two bottoms in the base of the head and when you apply this target starting from the moment of the breakout you receive your approximate target in this case notice that I placed my target at 1.0087 instead of the end of the rectangle which is 1.0086 and 6 again and I decided to put it over there because uh, 1.0087 is a round number uh, ends with zero, which puts some psy psy some psychological meaning in this level, and I always I always like to put meanings in my levels because I believe they're more reliable this way, and I will recommend you to do so as well. And I believe this will definitely improve your uh, like order positioning when trading uh, currency. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damien from ForexBolt.com, looking forward to see you on the next live Forex trading session, and until then, 
I wish you happy and safe trading.